What is good, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction. We got bamboozled a little bit. Okay. <laughs> we got another episode of Ninja Kamui, episode 13. This, I'm pretty sure, is the last fucking one, the finale, the official finale. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes the episode count isn't correct. Uh, you know, the episode count said it was 12 episodes um, on the website or, you know, whatever I use. And there's another episode and the episode count was 12. So a little bit of a hiccup there. But hey, fuck it. We're going to finish it. I, I, I was content and I thought last episode was the finale, but apparently not. And I did definitely think once it ended last episode, I was like, that's kind of a weird spot to end it. But OK, whatever. But yeah, that makes sense now. We got bamboozled a little bit. There's one more episode that's what we're getting into right now. Episode 13. Yo, last episode was crazy. We see the perfect perfected Gusoku gear uh, that Yamaji is using. And I'm assuming uh, the rest of the, you know, his ninja clan, you know, normal ninjas have uh, under him that we saw that were started attacking the Secretary of Defense. The White House, it looked like too. They can fly. I mean, motherfucker, where the fuck were all these perfected Gus Gusokus whenever it came to Reapers, Egon, Suit... Uh, Dilly suit, the midget suit, Big D suit. Like, where the fuck were all the perfected suits for them? You know, they were just using prototypes for forever? Uh, like, okay. But, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, you know, Yamaji seems to be taking the ninja clan down a path of just world domination. And that will, you know, apparently enter perfect peace for his clan or Japan. I don't know if he's doing it for the good of Japan. Because Japan was starting to leave the clan behind. They're like, oh, we don't need this ancient organization and their ancient ideals. Like, fuck it you know they kind of were disregarding them in in today's time so i don't know if he's necessarily doing this for japan i think he's just doing this for the for the you know just for himself like we're, we we will just live for ourselves like i think he's taking it down like a path where even you know there's ninjas that still follow him you know it's to each your own if you are weak you're gonna die if you're strong you're gonna live and take what you want and do as you please that's what it seems like um and he killed dilly that was, you know, protecting Joseph and, and started to, you know, we saw a little bit of a flashback where, you know, why she kind of started to, I guess, fall for him or at least his ideals and the way he thought and, uh, you know, really did want to protect him. And that's what he, that's what she did. And obviously, Joseph isn't going down with that fight. You know, he's fucking put out a little message like, hey, you seem to forget who the fuck is in control. All I got to do is overcharge the reactors and boom, big ass explosion. Fuck y'all. Don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a warrant out for his rest. And then we saw also Higan talking to his old chief, who was finally revealed uh, is, you know, the doctor's true identity is his old chief. And got a lot of information from him on him, you know, how he was paying attention to the three of them, Reaper, Mary, Higan, also paying attention to Yamaji and, you know, still in, this, in, in, in his like kind of like indecisiveness on where to take the clan or what to do about the ninja code and, you know, just how to update things or, or, or to how to bring the ninja ninjas and in, in the organization or clan down a new path and, and how to like bring about peace or, you know, what he should do and just his indecision basically leading up to Yamaji killing him and to where he's incapable of using ninja abilities anymore. But since he's still alive he alluded to something like you've heard the saying that not, cats have nine lives right so that's how he's still alive apparently it has something to do with that maybe it's a secret art or just some sort of ninja art or something i don't know unless it's something else completely entirely like it has just something to do with uh, is he a cat is he legit just a cat like i don't fucking know but he pleaded he gone to be the one to stop yamaji and, and and you know stop the clan or whatever uh for the greater good and he gone said yeah I'm going to do it, but I'm not doing it for the clan. I'm doing it for my loved ones and for the people that got me here this far or that keep me pushing, you know what I'm saying? The ones that I hold dear or the ones that have helped me out along the way. That's who I'm doing it for. Mike, Emma, Mary, his son, you know, all those people. And so, yeah, he's determined to still try and take out Yamaji. I don't know how I, I would hope that he got in suit is able to keep up with Yamaji's suit, but didn't fucking Higans and Reaper suit just literally get obliterated in their own fight? So what the fuck are and what's Reaper gonna do? Reaper's like in despair right now on his, you know, him losing against Higan and also you know I guess like his decision making over the years and you know how he was so loyal to Yamaji, but you know, I, I guess he's just kind of living in regret or he's realizing his regrets now. And so like, what's he gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know where we go from here, but let's get into this finale and see where this truly leaves off since we got bamboozled 
from the last episode, uh, thinking it was the finale. Let's get into it. If you guys enjoy the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe if you're new, hit that notification bell so you know the next one's dropping. Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui finale, episode 13. <laughs> They're cleaning themselves up after beating each other's ass. Finally, partners back on the same page. Love to see it. Hey, there we go. Hell yeah, baby. Hey, the old dude with the restaurant. <laughs> He's protesting. Of course he is. How is this bringing peace, Yamaji? Please inform me. Okay, interesting. Mm, okay, interesting. Oh, they want the backing of the United States. <laughs> so yeah, Joseph is just straight up on the run. As soon as we deal with one last problem. Fucking he gone. They want to take him out, of course. He's the one last obstacle. So he still has a suit. There it is. Boom. It has those spikes on the side, which I notice is basically the same as fucking Yamaji's. So... Is he actually going to be able to stand a chance? Because Yamaji's suit seemed fucking ridiculous. Damn, he moving a whole satellite? Jesus. What is he picking up all these pigs for? He's literally in the plane with pigs. Oh, that's Mike. Oh, shit. Wow, he actually took the fucking plane out from taking off. Yo, Mike is a G, bruh. How did he get out the plane so quickly? It was like tipped over. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Ugh. Biting me and shit, little bitch. He's he's hovering his finger over something on his watch. Is he threatening to blow up the reactors or some shit? He didn't do shit because Yamaji's already taking control, right? Yeah, nothing happened. Oh no, because Jason already hacked in quick enough. Let's fucking go, baby. <laughs> hey, you too, Emma and Jason. Hell yeah. Ran out of luck, Joseph. You're arrested, bitch. Oh, yeah, well, what the fuck do you call this then? There's no way you get out of this. Oh, he talking shit about Emma's death. Oh, no, nah, he gonna fuck you up for that. He gonna fuck you up. Yep. Mm, catch his hands, bitch. What you get for talking shit about my fucking partner that you killed. You don't give a fuck. We heard a gunshot. Did he actually shoot? 
貴様の奥義上ではなかったのだな600年の長きにわたり忍びが抱き続けた祝願が you just say he's living on borrowed time? その意味がわからぬのか So he's gonna die eventually anyway? 今の俺には関係のないこと私は忍びに光を当てるのだ Yeah, he doesn't intend to stay in the shadows 結果、この様か That sword looks crazy. Mm. Well, here we go. These two suits look fire. The yellow and the red. Okay. Nice dodge. Do we got Lincoln Park playing in the background right now? What the fuck is this? Oh shit, watch out. I'm trying to chop your nuts off. Oh, he's getting the upper hand. He doesn't have his weapon. Oh, fucking use the car door as a shield. No way Reaper is still fucking hel helping Yamaji. Bro. Even after all realizing all that regret and how much you went through, you're like, fuck it. This is the only life I can live. I'm gonna stick to it. I mean, I guess that's res respect for not switching up, but that's crazy, bro. Oh, he's about to use the secret art. He's about to use Serenity. What what is using a secret art gonna be like with the suit on? Is it gonna be improved at all? What the fuck is happening? Oh, Yamaji's using his secret art. God's will? That's wild. Mm. This is what Yamaji's fucking secret art is making him see and shit. Cause uh, the old chief said it tampers with pe the with uh, people's minds, tampers with your mind and shit. Oh, bro, he's being tortured in his head. Zai seeing all this too. Is Zai finally gonna step in and do what he wants to do? What he, what he thinks is right in his own heart? Is he gonna fucking save Higan? Higan stepped in. He took the blow. I mean, uh, Reaper. Reaper took the blow. Or no! Oh wow, he fucking... He got his arm chopped off. But he stabbed Yamaji. Bro, he completely lost an arm. Holy fuck. Wait, he didn't actually stab Yamaji? Where's the wound? What the fuck is that? Is that a bomb? Or no, that gives him power? That's like a power source for the suits? Oh, see, he just recharged too. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, nah. 
Yamaji Studio is like supercharged. Oh, fuck no. Mm. How do we get out of this? How do we defeat him, bro? I don't see it happening this episode. Are you gonna blow this place to smithereens? Oh, fuck no. Bro. This is like literally a nuke. What the fuck is about to happen? How do we stop this, bro? あ、私流の忍びのごく Oh, playing the opening music. This is, gonna, this, is, this is the big climax of the episode of the season. What the hell is happening? That's his secret art? Yo, his suit turned black. That shit looks fire. Ooh! Bro, he's keeping up with him. Thanks to Zai's secret art, I guess. Yeah, Yamaji, you could never be what fucking Higan is. Oh shit, that looks so fire! Holy shit, did he get him? Did he actually defeat him? Yep, it's just powering down. Holy fuck. That, dude, look how large of a radius that was. That would have I mean, Joseph said it was 100 kilometers or some shit like that. That is a- bro, that would have been dev devastating. Catastrophic. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Who's this? Who's that? That's what he truly believes. A light gone from his eyes. Is he actually dead? I would make sure you finish him off, bruh. Stab him, cut his fucking head off. Something. <laughs> Man, I don't give a fuck. Oh, he just shot his ear. He pissed himself. Ha <laughs> ha, little bitch. You glorious bastard. <laughs> Is he gonna kill himself? He's trying to commit seppuku? Yeah, come on, at least, at least let Higan cherish the little relationship he has with you still. I mean, you guys, t you two are still alive. You can't, he can't, Higan couldn't deal with losing both of you, Mary and you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, your own. He got rid of the suit. He just dropped it off in a lake, though? You couldn't, like, tear it up into fucking tiny pieces? Like... Alright. 
But I guess it's technology, so like it's in the if it's in the water, it's defective, you know, electronics and shit. So he just rides off in the distance. That how it, that's how it ends. So what? No more mechs? No more no more mechs next season? If there's another season, no more mechs? That'd be interesting. <laughs> That was good. That was a lot better of like a closing episode for the season because last episode didn't see it didn't seem like the ending was right, which makes sense now because yeah, last episode I was like, damn, that's kind of an abrupt ending for the season, and it makes perfect sense now. But I was again, we got bamboozled. We thought this was only gonna be twelve episodes. Most of us did anyway because of the episode count saying it was twelve. But yeah, it was thirteen. Hey, fuck it. Let's go. One extra episode. That was that was really good. That was a good finale. Alrighty, guys. What another amazing final episode of Ninja Kamui Season 1. That was great. That was a lot better of an ending than what we thought was the last episode of Episode 12. And uh, really gave us some actual closure. And uh, it seems that we actually stopped the, you know, ninjas under Yamaji and Yamaji himself from accomplishing what he wanted to accomplish, which was basically take over you know the world or just do things in the way that he sees fit and, and really just take control by force and that's how he would achieve peace you know if any if anybody uh, deludes or diverts from the path that i set then you're done you're killed you know what i'm saying it's so like very very strict uh form of governing i guess you could say or, or just uh ideals and he was about to fucking literally send a message and I guess like the catalyst or the, the 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 ignition of what he was going to do in the world the first part of that was literally what he was about to do and it, it explode the the fucking reactors in in the area that they were in that 100 kilometer radius like that's a sh dude, dude that shit that would have been de devastating it's literally like a nuke it's literally like a fucking nuke that's what he was about to set off and so we see he gone challenge him uh jason uh fulfilled or secured um the satellite and, and finished hacking and, and like jamming the signal to joseph being able to trigger the reactors on his watch because i think he was threatening or threatening mike to do that like to stop mike from shooting him or arresting him or whatever and he pushed the button and nothing happened and that's because jason got it in time and jammed the signal and so joseph was just sitting there still talking shit and if he started talking shit about the motherfuckers that he tried to kill which was including mike and one of them actually did die, Emma. He was talking mad shit. And so Mike did not fuck with that. And he fucked him up, punched him a good couple times. And he wanted to... He, I, you, that type of arrogance and just shit personality, like, that makes you want to kill somebody so bad. He wanted to kill him. Like, he had that gun up to his forehead. But he didn't. He fucking shot him in the ear, as we saw at the end of the episode. And then, you know, officially arrested him. He's like, hey, anytime you get out, I'm just going to come punch your ass again and push you right the fuck back where you belong. So, you know, he upholded his morals, actually arrested him when he could have full well killed him right there and probably would have been justified because you fuck, you you just talk shit about my partner that you killed and we're, and we're trying to kill all of us. And I've killed plenty of other people before too. So we saw that and then the main center and focus of this episode was literally the fight between Higan and Yamaji. Zai eventually coming back and um, at first siding with Yamaji again like thinking like yo this is the only path that I know I'm not giving up on it like even though like how much regret I have and all this other shit like fuck it like this is all I know I'm just gonna stick with this and what made him turn was when Yamaji used his secret art against Higan which fucks with your head and like gets into your head and like shows you all these images and, and, and you know all these things that didn't really happen like it toys with your head to like you know fuck with your heartstrings and you know, it was like his son was talking to him like, why weren't you here? Why didn't you save us? You know what I'm saying? And, and that obviously is very traumatizing. So that's what Yamaji's secret art is. Basically immobilizes him because he's being fucking tortured in his head. And he was about to kill him. And Zai finally, I guess, saw reason to save Egon and saw like what Mary had meant, you know, years before on you know what it is that you'll find that you think is worth fighting for or whatever and in that moment he fucking took the blow for Higan he lost an arm and saved him and then Higan was able to keep fighting then Yamaji drops down to wherever that fucking whatever that ball spiky ball looking thing was which I think I'm assuming is some sort of reactor or some sort of technology where he just supercharged his suit and was fucking them up and then Higan was able to I guess 
through through the suit because Emma mentioned before that the suit you know answers to the will of the user, and so it, the suit starts changing color. It turns full black, and he's able to use Zai's secret art. So he was able to use when really you're only supposed to use one as a ninja, but he was able to use Zai's thanks to the suit, I guess, and 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 his conviction and his will. Turns full black, looks so fucking cool. Is able to keep up with Yamaji and finally gets the best of him. Takes him the fuck down, kills him. Looks like the light you know you know disappears from his eyes seems like he's actually dead i i would have fucking made double sure like yo i'm gonna cut this motherfucker's head off you know what i'm saying uh but it seems that he you know didn't seem that was necessary got the job done killed him gets rid of the current head of the clan and then yamaji was talking shit like oh yeah you know don't worry i got others that are gonna you know uh persevere and take on this will for me and whatnot you know other ninjas in the clan and then it seemed like some lady or some somebody i don't know if it's a lady or but somebody in a mask some other person that seems to be some sort of other ninja maybe came into where the secretary of defense was or also like the white house where they were holding these uh higher ups in the government hostage and putting lasers at their head this motherfucker comes down in the mask puts something on the suit immobilizes them boom we good all right bet ninjas yamaji's clan done mission accomplished so where do we go from here? Because at the very end, Zaya tried to kill himself. He got and stopped him like, yo, no, like we have the duty to uphold, to like still live and make our own path for ourselves and do it for the ones that have passed on. Like we have to live on for them. And so that kind of gave Zai purpose. He's like, are you saying I still have a path to follow? I was like, yeah, bro, your own dude. Like you gotta figure it out and do what you think is right and, and, and just, keep living for the people that passed away and you know believed in you and and thought you could get to a you know better place in life like do it for them and so he gone saves he uh reaper from killing himself or zai and uh seems that they're on good terms now and he and zai doesn't have to worry about the clan anymore you know what i'm saying neither of them do and then we see he gone at the very end throw away the mech in the lake so doesn't seem like he's gonna be using that anymore he, i mean he's literally tossing the fucking thing and then just rides off in the distance on the road and that's where the episode ends so does that mean if there is gonna be another season and this show or story keeps on going that the mechs are completely done with because joseph's arrested that means al's is pretty much out of the picture or just dissolved i guess unless somebody overtakes the company as the new head and puts it in a better direction instead of trying to do fuck shit and still uses technology that does actually help people instead of this, you know, military shit with the mechs and ninjas and doesn't recreate them or discontinues them, whatever. And then he got on getting rid of his mech and the rest of the ninjas being apprehended. Looks like there might not be any more mechs, which I think is pretty much a good thing and what pretty much everybody wants. But I don't know where that goes from there since like the mechs, they kind of made the mechs like kind of a focal point in this season. You know what I'm saying? So maybe it was just just for this arc or just for this core in the story and then it's just straight up ninja shit from here on but i really don't know like what story would i don't know where the story would continue after this like i don't know what plot what like next like thing would have like maybe this is just a one season and done like this this was it like it was that was literally it that, uh, that was the project like that was the whole story right there i don't know but all in all, I think it was I think it was a decent ending, and you know he got set out and accomplished what he wanted to do, and took out Yamaji, took out the clan, and they don't have to worry about it no more. And he did it for his wife and his kid, and what they were always yearning for, like a you know a peaceful life, and not having to worry about watching their back the whole time. So that was that was good stuff, amazing finale. Hopefully we don't get bamboozled again. I think that's officially the fucking end. <laughs> I think that's the finale. That was good. I enjoyed it. If you guys enjoyed the reaction, please like down below, comment, subscribe for new, hit that notification bell so the next one's dropping. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all be good. Deuces.